Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day. Here in the collapse of global industrial civilization as we all get back to work. Kiss another summer goodbye, hallelujah. And uh, get back to work. So that would make this Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. And, uh, Guys, I'm going to push the envelope a, uh, <clears throat> a little bit on Collapse Chronicles today. Uh, you can decide what this story has to do with the collapse of a planet. Uh, I've been meaning to tell this story, but I don't want to uh, hurt my credibility any more than it's already been hurt. <clears throat> So I'm just going to tell the story, but before I do, this is my segue into it so I don't sound like I've really been uh, snookered by a, by a jokester. Uh, anyway, I want to thank Bill G. for sending me this story uh, and from an outfit called Screenshot. Jeff Bezos is reportedly funding Altos Labs, a new anti-aging venture aiming to cheat death. Sounding like Don Juan Matus wanting to cheat death. While Elon Musk is working on improvements to Tesla's autopilot features and teaching a monkey how to play Pong with its mind, Jeff Bezos is allegedly partaking in yet another futuristic venture, one that could soon allow humans to live longer. Ah, that's all we need. Ah, man, I don't know how long I'm going to live at this, right? Um, introducing Altos Labs, a biological reprogramming tech company currently looking into a variety of methods that could help reverse the aging process. As of now, the company has raised more than $270 million in funding thanks to massive donations from people all over the world who are banking on the company's process promise. Bezos included <coughs> Bezos is said to have a fairly long-standing interest in longevity research and he's previously invested in, in an anti-aging company called Unity Biotechnology. Another investor along with the richest man in the world is Russian-Israeli entrepreneur Yuri Milner. Uh, one method being studied by <coughs> Man, I've been out mowing the grass, mowing the goldenrod. Oh, man. <clears throat> okay, one method being studied by Altos Labs is whether this reprogramming could teach cells to revert back to their stem cell origins, make them readapt to the skin, and give it a more youthful appearance. In order to do so, Altos Labs has recruited Nobel Prize winner Dr. Shinva Yamanaka, who will serve uh, chairing the company's scientific advisory board. Uh, according, oh, come on! Man, I need to revert my nose back to its original stem cells. Mowing after Labor Day, let me tell you, mowing weeds after Labor Day. Okay. Well, guys, I don't know how many it, much longer I could sit here. Maybe I can sit here and do it and do my rant like this. What do you think, Sancho Panza? What do you think? Can I can I finish my rant if I talk like this? All right. The Japanese researcher discovered that four specific <laughs> proteins could be added to a cell that would help reprogram it into <laughs> its stem cell state. I don't know, guys. I 
Uh, I am not someone who gets hay fever. <sighs> but my God, I think I got it through here. Ah, just swallowed some stem cells coming out of the inside of my nose. Maybe I can start revert, reversing my aging. Okay. Uh, also joining the team is a Spanish biologist uh, who won notoriety for research into mixing human and monkey embryos and who has also predicted that lifespans could be increased by 50 years uh, by 2016, five years ago, uh, one lab uh, had applied the protein to living mice, achieving signs of age reversal and leading to the term reprogramming a potential, quote, elixir of life. Good Lord, and uh, let's see, they have also hired Steve Horvath, who I have, have I mentioned Steve on this channel, uh, a UCLA professor and developer of a, quote, biological clock that can accurately measure human aging. Um, good Lord. Anyway, uh, Altos Labs is <clears throat> hiring more university professors by offering salaries of one million dollars. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, long story short, Although Altos Labs has so far managed to recruit some impressive names in the biological reprogramming sector, as well as some pretty big investors, its research still needs a lot of work before it can ever be applied to humans. But who wants to be a party pooper when there's a possibility that in a couple of years we'll all still look and feel like 20-year-olds Dystopian movie plots aside, I'm excited. Immortality? Anyone? Okay. So that is the news. Now here is my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Uh, I had this buddy, well he wasn't a close friend, okay. I don't know the guy really well. He was more of an acquaintance who uh, I would see every now and then at picking parties. Uh, he was some sort of uh, river school instructor. Uh, we'll call him Billy Bob. So anyway, Billy Bob, it must have been maybe 2015 or 2016, Billy Bob was not looking good and uh, the story was that he told me is that he had been <clears throat> diagnosed with some form of very aggressive cancer. I'm pretty sure he was 63 years old. <clears throat> and he was essentially been given a death sentence. And uh, I was surprised he even felt like coming out to this party. So uh, when I said goodbye to Billy Bob, I believe in uh, 2015 or 2016, somewhere in there, when I said goodbye to Billy Bob, I just assumed I was telling this man goodbye forever and was never going to see him again. I mean, he looked like death warmed over, that he had one foot in the grave, and he pretty much told me that he was a goner, and uh, he was off into the wild blue yonder, so I wished him well on his journey and uh, to be perfectly honest I didn't think about Billy Bob again. I just assumed he, he was one more uh, victim of cancer. What kind of cancer did he have? I honestly, but anyway it was one of those nasty ones that you don't want to get, not that you want to get any kind of cancer, but you know what I'm saying. He didn't have long to live and he looked like it. Okay, so fast forward 
to Christmas of 2018. So a little less than two years ago, I was at this Christmas party in Austin, Texas. And this fellow who I vaguely recognize from my dim past comes up to this uh, to me at this party and starts talking to me uh, like you know we were long lost friends who hadn't uh, who hadn't seen each other in a while and I'm looking at this man uh, who looked like you know a healthy vibrant guy about my age uh, I was how old was I 59 uh, looked to me about my age uh, looked, you know, very robust health, hanging out at a Christmas party, and we're talking, and, 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 he, and he could tell I was, like, looking at him like I didn't know who he was. And, and he goes, Sam, he goes, don't you recognize me? And, and, and I said, brother, uh, I, I said, you know, I've been gone a long time, and, and I used to know a lot of people in this town, so don't take it personally. I said, I vaguely recognize you, uh, but, but you got to tell me, you got to remind me who you are. And, and he goes, Sam, he goes, it's Billy Bob. And I'm looking at him, and I said, Billy Bob? I, I, I said, brother, I thought you were dead, and, and he laughed, and, and he said, and he goes, I thought I was dead, too, and, and, and he goes, but obviously I'm not dead, and I said, clearly, Billy Bob, you're not dead. I said, what the hell happened to you? Last time I saw you, uh, you had one foot in the grave, and you had terminal cancer, and, and he said that uh, right about the time he saw me the last time, he heard about some, now I don't know whether it was top secret or not, because somehow he heard about this uh, study that they were doing. I believe the hospital was in Houston, Texas. And so this was probably 2016, 2017, and 2018 when this level of research was going on. And, uh, you know, basically they were looking, it was this experimental uh, anti-aging study, and they basically needed people with one foot in the grave, because, you know, if, if they ended up killing them, uh, you know, if the process that they were going to do ended up killing them, but like, so what? He was dead anyway, right? He goes, what did I have? You know, I, he goes, I had nothing to lose. Uh, I was dead anyway. He goes, so I applied for this study, and unbelievably, he got selected. He got selected, and... Okay, you got to remember, guys, this is a conversation I was having at a Christmas party, all right? Uh, but I wasn't drunk, and Billy Bob wasn't drunk. We were just, you know, having a, a conversation at a party, and so I can't remember the exact details, and uh, I don't even know if he knew the exact details, but this was the story that Billy Bob told me, that what they were doing... Uh, so he was, let's call him a 63-year-old man, you know, with advanced cancer, uh, looking like a 73-year-old man with one foot in the grave. And what they were doing was injecting the stem cells from a 26-year-old woman. I, I think he said the stem cells. It was... Somehow they were getting, and I, and I, I am no cellular biologist. Don't make no mistake about this. But anyway, he said they were injecting the stem cells from a 26-year-old woman into him. And and he goes, and he goes, brother, he goes, I am turning in to a 26-year-old woman, is what he said. He goes, I can actually feel my 63-year-old male body becoming a healthy 26-year-old woman. 
and, uh, and, and, and good Lord, now, I didn't see any breasts growing on him or anything. I mean, he looked like a man to me, but he was obviously, this, this man, uh, obviously no longer had cancer. Or if he did have cancer, the infusion of whatever he was getting. And, and, and I said, well, what is the ultimate goal? And uh, he was a little unclear what the ultimate goal was. He, he goes like, uh, I, I don't care, Sam. I mean, look at me. I, I mean, the guy uh, had gone from looking, you know, from, let's say he was 63. When I had seen him two years earlier, he looked 73. And now I would say he looked about 55. And uh, and that is the last I know. That is my story, and I am sticking to it. I saw with my own eyes a man lose about 18 years of aging uh, in, in a period of two years. I have no idea if Billy Bob is still dead or alive. <clears throat> but... Uh, that's really all I have to say. Uh, you can decide what that story has to do with, uh, with the collapse of civilization and the planet, but uh, you better believe that uh, there are a lot of people uh, working on anti-aging and extending the human... Uh, we're not talking the singularity here. We're not talking about, you know, putting human consciousness into a machine. We're talking about the actual uh, human body, uh, you know, getting on one of these regimens and, uh, you know, and living, as they were saying, uh, there's no reason 50 years longer. And uh, you can decide for yourself what that means for the planet if the, uh, if, if humans, uh, suddenly have a lifespan of 120, 130 years, just a normal lifespan. And so we will see how many 120-year-olds are walking around the planet in the year 2100, I guess. Uh, you know my prediction on that number. <clears throat> but who knows? But I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to revert Sancho Panza back into a... Uh, into an eight-week-old puppy. We're going to extend Sancho Panza's life. I'm going to get him on a, on a uh, stem cell infusion. Do you want to become a, do you want to become a two-year-old uh, boxer bitch? What do you think? You like that idea? Becoming a two-year-old female boxer. All right, we're going to get on it. So Sancho Panza will never die. At least stick around uh, so we can go down together. Get out there and get your anti-aging cream while you still can. Bye, guys. People are going to think I lost my mind, little dog, but oh well. Maybe it's just a sign of aging. <laughs>